Well, this morning I am in Love Lane and this is Denby in North Wales and I'm going to show you where I grew up as a child and I grew up in a haunted house or haunted flat or haunted building wherever you want to, which way you want to look at it um, just in front of me here now I'll show you there's Love Lane Garage um, it was originally the Williams, going back, Williams coach builders used to make coaches and carriages and stuff like that. And uh, and that's where I grew up. That was part of it, the Brit, or the Britannia Inn. But uh, that's where I grew up anyway, my father and my tide, which is my grandfather. You got your tide, you don't call your grandfather. In Wales, you don't have a grandfather, you have a tide. But that's where I grew up as a child. And that, I can guarantee, is 100% haunted. Now that's the garage part there. There was no activity, no paranormal activity there. That was the front door. It's 6A, Love Lane, by the way. And it used to lead up to the flat above. That was my brother's bedroom. That was my parents' bedroom. And that was my bedroom, right next door. To this part here. Now that was the showroom and that was called the old garage and that was the attic and it's a big area well you can see a bit on the top there it does go way back it's a hell of a size it's a big size and mainly the activity the paranormal activity took part in the flat above and then this area here, the showroom, the old garage, and the attic. Now then, from the, the, the door there, that's the front door. Immediately in front of you there was the stairs, which led up. And in front of you, at the top of the stairs, was what we called the front room, which we never used. We very, very rarely used it. And then leading off from the top of the stairs, you had a corridor, which led to the doorways, to the bedrooms, that one, that one, and that one. And at the end, more or less opposite my bedroom door, was a door that led into the living room. That was the main room we used to use with the, with the, uh, the coal fire. You see the chimney there, we used to ramp the fire up with coal and logs. And then leading off from the living room was the kitchen. And at the side of the kitchen, side of the kitchen sink was a little door that led into the old garage which you can see the second floor there that's the old garage from the showroom the back of the showroom there is an old wooden staircase which leads up to the old garage and from the old garage there's what we used to call the swing door it used to be a wooden door and you used to have a metal like a, a spring and she opened the door and it used to make a noise, it's got ding, 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 ding. If you let go of the door, it used to slam shut. There was another little small room and that led up into the top, into the attic. There. And at the back of the showroom, it used to go right down at the back there, which we used to call it the old smithy. And that's where they used to make the, the, the sh um, shoes you know, for the horses and stuff like that. That was the old smithy. So anyway, that's where I grew up as a child and it is 100% haunted. And I'll talk a bit more about it now. Right, so that's a bit of a introduction to the uh, the haunted, well haunted, not, not a house really, but it's a haunted flat, shall we say, or premises next door. And Yes, as you will know if you've watched um, some of my videos, you know that I am a paranormal sensitive, which I can hear, detect, and see things that other people um, don't, shall we say. And uh, like I said, that's what I grew up as a kid. And I used to experience a lot of stuff in them days. I didn't know I was a paranormal sensitive. I was only told about it in the last five, six years, something like that. Um, so yeah, but what, what I used to experience in that, that place, um, 
he, 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 there was an animal in the corridor. Um, we used to, I used to hear an animal. We used to have like um, not a lino, but there was a carpet and like this clear plastic coating to cover the carpet. And there was a dog or some sort of animal in the dead of night. He used to run up and down, tick, 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 and then turn and tick, 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 and run back. And we used to have a boxer dog called China. Um, and we thought, I thought, oh, China's got out from the living room. The living room door, the next day, the next morning, was all shut tight. China was there, fast asleep in her bed. It wasn't her. And, and anyway, if China did get out, she had to come into one of the bedrooms that them bedroom doors would always open. You know, you, you, you put them closed, but you couldn't lock them. They didn't have latches on them. Um, so she'd have pushed the, one of them doors open. So it wasn't her. And there was one time when I was in, in my bedroom and above, right above the corridor is um, glass panels, which you can see through into the attic above. And to the side of the attic is a walkway because you couldn't walk anywhere else. Otherwise you'd fall through the ceiling into the rooms, you know, you'd fall through the plaster. Um, so there was a walkway and it was a Saturday afternoon. I can remember it now. And I heard footsteps, dun, dun, dun. So I'm walking slowly on this walkway. So I thought, what's going on here? So I walked out into the corridor and I looked up. And if you looked up, you could look through the glass panels and there was skylights on the roof and you'd see daylight. So if there was someone walking along them panels, you'd see a shadow going across. And I was there walking, following this, these footsteps and there was no shadow, no nothing. Um, lights used to switch on and off by themselves. You'd be there watching the telly or something and the light would go off or you'd be in a room in daylight and the light would switch on switch on and off by themselves and there was one time it was all well no, I wouldn't say all night probably for a few hours when I was in bed as you've seen my bedroom was right next door to what we called the old garage and there was um you could hear that swing door bang bang that was going all night well like I say not all night but for good good three or four hours this was in the middle of the night and it was like as if they were moving heavy boxes <laughs> pushing them and pulling sliding because it was a wooden floor in the old garage there it was made of wood um, and footsteps I didn't hear any voices nothing like that but footsteps um, and loads of other things it was um, th that place and I'm thinking now being that, you know, I've found out that I'm a paranormal sensitive. That's what I things I used to hear in them days. That was when I was a kid. As I said, I grew up in that place. Um, is it Williams Brothers, the coach builders, going back centuries? You know, is it the workmen? Are they haunting the place? Are they still, you know, making the coach, coach bit, you know, the carriages and stuff like that? Is it, you know, is it that? Is it them? Is it the Williams brothers and all the workers? And you know, so. And there was another time where we were in the uh, living room, we used to call it, as I say, the front room. We never used to use the front room, it was always empty. Um, you know, it was furnished and stuff like that, but it was never used. And uh, we used to have box of dogs in the old garage, there was two of them there. And they were barking, bah, 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 barking, make a hell of a noise. And they normally they used to bark at people. There was a, a glass panel missing. I think there was two glass panels missing. And these people that in the, in the street, you know, in Love Lane, used to be passing, they used to bark at them. And we thought, oh, they're barking, and, you know, that people walking past, they were making a hell of a noise, more than usual. So I went out, opened from the kitchen, opened the little, there was a little door, and there was about two or three steps, and you're in the old garage. And they weren't at the, at the the windows they were in the center and they were barking and they were looking up 
to the attic and they were barking and jumping and barking and everything. So I got a big lamp, rushed through, crossed the swing door into the little room and then up the stairs into the top, the very top part where the box of dogs were barking at. Searched round and there's nothing there, there's nothing, no one there, nothing at all. So uh, that's another thing. So yeah, and there was uh, there probably a few other things that had gone on there, as I say, that I've experienced over the years. And so that's where I grew up, this lovely garage. And it is, I can guarantee that place is 100% haunted.